I bought this 1997 Mercedes Benz for a very cheap price. It is the most valuable car even to this day the engine are still running very well despite the age of 27 years old. The reason why I bought this car is for my daily use car and also for growing my YouTube channel showing you guys how to fix and maintain this 1997 Mercedes Benz. Here I am showing to you guys buying this used Mercedes Benz for your first car wasn't a bad idea. Support me on my journey to get my YouTube channel monetized by clicking the subscribe button. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to do your transmission oil change. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your transmission fluid. And this is all the item that you're going to need. The first thing you need, uh, transmission oil, transmission filter, now for this model 722.6 transmission you need a uh, electric conduct conductor done jacking the car now you have room underneath yeah okay the first thing that you're gonna do is that locate your transmission oil filler which is like this in this Mercedes, uh, in this Mercedes bank, they use this so that nobody can just take it off and feel any fluid inside the transmission. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove this and how to fill out and how to do all in fluid change. Okay, as you can see here, we have this red lock. What you want to do is use a flathead screwdriver, push it bit by bit. then try to take off because you don't want to push this red lock further down then you're gonna enter the transmission hole and that's gonna be a nightmare so don't do that okay now you're gonna locate your transmission oil pan and this is the transmission oil pan and this is the transmission as you can see here let's have this hole in here and that's the top converter all right now let's drain the transmission first <laughs> Step of the brake at first. that we need to replace okay okay this is how to pull this thing off first you have this thing slide it below then you can take off the wiring connectors then you have 8 millimeter bolt here so you need to have a very long and small ratchet to get in there okay now let's remove this oil pan there's gonna be some oil in it yet still so Yeah, 
said, be careful with this because it's still going to have oil dripping here. Okay, to drain the top converter, to drain tr more transmission fluid in this top converter, we need to rotate the crankshaft so that uh, when the top converter reveal is bolt, then you can unbolt it, then you can drain the alternate transmission from it. So, let me show you how to rotate the crankshaft. Okay, this is what you want to do. We have, first, we have to locate the crankshaft, which is this one. The below one it uses 27 millimeter bolt so use a 27 millimeter bolt then this is the important part is that you want to rotate it clockwise rotate it until you find a bolt at your converter bolt convert converter top unbolt it then you're gonna be more transmission oil in here so be prepared for more oil to come out now unbolt the commuter bolt bolt so look at that there's still more oil Then insert back the bolt. Okay, clean it up first. Make sure there's no oil. Finally, I'm able to pull off this thing. This thing is very stuck in there. Thank God. Now I want to show you. This is the oil from the transmission. <laughs> I, I guess my transmission is going to be relieved when I put a new oil. See that? How black is that oil? And this is the oil tank. You know, in my experience, I never experienced this stuff. What is this? And one more thing is that there's no magnet usually in oil in oil pan there should be a magnet i don't know what the previous owner done with this car but there's no metal particle i guess it's okay but you know what let's clean up this oil pan let's go now i already washed my transmission oil pan and Basically, you can wash your transmission oil pan with brake cleaner or you can you just uh, sponge and soak. But remember to dry it. We don't want any water in the transmission or any contaminant. So, wipe it down and all the, deb all the dust and debris, you really need to uh, wipe it out. Now, let's change. We have a new filter. Sorry, we have a new gasket filter. Alright, now all the gasket sit perfectly in the spot. Now what you want to have is this is this new part and also don't forget about the automatic transmission filter. Well, let's get under the car and re let's reinstall all of this bag. Okay, let's install everything back together. First, I want to install this connector. This is the hard part that I I showed you, and this is the connector. Well, let's spray some contact cleaner first. 
then we wait for a while after that we install everything back I'm using this Aeropa from this DIY store I just contact cleaner just spray it on that thing let it uh, that. then we install everything back together okay now let's install everything back together we have this new one Install back the electrical connectors. Okay, let me give you a better view. So what you have to do is you have to plug in until it looks until it fit very well. Then after it's fit very well, push this. Then it's not in place. That's all that you have to do. Now let's reinstall the oil point back. Okay, first give a quick wipe. And there's still oil drop dripping. Let's install the auto filter first, transmission filter. There's o ring in the auto filter. Move it a little bit up with some oil. There's this one slot. If you can see this, it's here. There's the slot for it. So what we have to do is make sure that this thing go inside this slot, and this thing is in this slot. Then, when both of them are in their slot, push. See that? Now that's a job well done. Okay now, I already installed and tightened all the bolts for the oil uh, automatic drain pan. As for the amount of transmission fluid you required, if you follow exactly like me, remove the fluid from the oil pan and top converter, you require about 8 liters of transmission fluid. If you only remove the fluid from the oil pan, you only require about 4 to 5 liters of transmission fluid. Yes, you can only drain the transmission fluid from the transmission oil pan only. This is regularly people do for transmission oil change. This is what we call as transmission flushing and below we call it as normal transmission fluid oil change. You need to fill the transmission fluid at the transmission hole. You need a funnel to pour the transmission fluid in the transmission. My advice is not to pour all the transmission fluid. Pour the transmission fluid about less 1 liter or 0.5 liter then later check the transmission oil level after you finish fill up your transmission with transmission fluid start your car inspect if there is any leak and perform this practice you need to go through each gear for 5 seconds this practice is for the transmission fluid to circulate to all the gear
repeat this process five times if you repeat this process more than five times it is also okay you need to get the transmission in the operating temperature usually i let it idle about one hour afterwards by using this long dip stick we can check the transmission fluid level put the dip stick inside the transmission hole and push it until you can't push it anymore we need the transmission fluid within this line if not enough then add more transmission fluid push the red lock back Put the transmission cap back on the transmission hole. All the parts and tools are in the description below so you can check it out. Last is to drive your car and make sure the gear are shift perfectly. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like subscribe this video. Need your support to get my YouTube channel monetized and stay tuned because there are gonna be more video coming.